Hello everyone and welcome back to Oak Street City Zoo. We are back in the next franchise episode and uh, welcome everyone uh, back to my video. Thank you so much uh, for clicking on this video. You are the man, you are the woman, you are the whatever you want to be. Thank you so much and uh, we are back here in franchise and today we are doing this very inevitable job. We are going to change this other crap in the middle here even though at the moment it seems to be a lot better. Um, I don't know why it changed now um, but I'm still not the biggest fan of this lemur um, situation right now. We will do a complete overhaul of the lemur situation and we're going to put this quite over here and we're going to make like a very nice island for them so that they have a lot of privacy and the guests um, still can see them but you know uh, uh, just making sure it's gonna work and um, the house from Dommel unfortunately will have to go away but we do have a lot of other stuff from Dommel in this zoo now before we start going um, for those of you who are still new to the channel or are still um, you know uh, ongoingly watching and not subscribed I may ask you again uh, please consider subscribing to the channel if you like the content this would be helping me a lot um, in fact that's the easiest way of uh, helping me out and yeah just in general uh, I really hope you guys appreciate the content I can still see in my stats recently I uh, looked into it and we are at about 60% of people watching my stuff without being subbed and 40% that are actually subbed so it's gonna be a bit better you know recently we've been to 70 and uh, 30 and the past but now it's better um, so yeah but before we start we will have to actually check a little bit uh, of the animal situation first of all and then we will um, see that everything works I mean we are losing a lot of money so this is also what I have to investigate at times um, yeah you can see they are fighting because um, okay Malava okay what we can do we can actually release him to the wild because that's definitely something we need to do too old and we are also going to release uh, Nanomo because she is also um, actually quite old as she won't get any new babies for us and what we will do we will get like a new gorilla for them eventually but for the moment we are keeping it the way it is um, it's fine we need to do a bit of control over this as well and um, well, let's have a little look what is going on here with the animals in general um, that is wrong we're gonna go here and let's have a look first of all into welfare I mean yeah this is, this is still the same and we are still having the issues that are not grown are they grown up though um can i get rid of them i still can't this is just insane okay so um same issue is about uh, to happen with our komodo dragons as well so komodo dragons have to be changed um what about the well, what's going on here with the um so it's enrichment and social and they're all pretty old here so what we do um, since that's the easiest way of doing it, we are going to basically release them to the wild. Um, they have a little bit of a space issue anyway, so that should help us out quite a lit, little bit. Um, and yeah, now let's scroll down. I think that's the easier way to do it. So yeah, we still have the issue here with uh, this one. Oh my boy. Uh, let's have a look. We can actually... You know what we do? We will actually release them to the wild um, because the tortoise will live anyways pretty long. So we will just sell a whole bunch of them as soon as they're as they're ready to be sold and then we will you know um actually you know what i do so i'm gonna keep like this is 16 f okay we are only keeping the 16 year olds and the other ones will all go to the trade center now and i'm gonna put them then somewhere else at a point where i need this uh that is not good that is not good so what's going on here i'm gonna claim this reward that's fine okay we, we need a few minutes of uh, you know making sure that everything just works guys um i mean it's it's a little bit of an issue but um i think we, we will be able to do this um okay so we have quite a few animals in the trade center let's have a look if we can sell some of those because i'm i'm quite certain we can so and we don't have bonobos though we don't have cheetahs we the ostrich okay we can't sell them but i can uh they're all from over here right yeah i mean we can release this one to the wild that's the easiest way of doing it um yeah okay no it, i mean it's it's fairly unhandy to do right i mean it's oh god but i need to get some space in my storage so we have all these lemurs over here so what we can do already i can't multi-select them right uh, i can only rehome okay i need to ah oh, this is this is like a little shit show now so i really have to basically just click them all now right simple as that uh okay well it's not simple i would be able i would love to be able to do this a little bit more conveniently if you ask me um so just like check a few of those and then just rehome then i mean i i could go and I'm, I'm not even sure if i need to 
Wait, can I can I go in here? Are they still in here and shown that they're... I mean, wait, we can just ch filter by the location, right? I want to have only the animals and trade center, please. There you go. That makes the whole situation a little bit more easy. And now I really hope that I can do this stuff. So we're only keeping... We well, can actually basically just release all of them because they're all elderly. We all do, do not need them. Um, let's rehome them all. It's going to cost us 31. Well, that is... That is doable, okay? That is doable. Good. Um, wait, that was a mistake. Um, let me just... Hey, can you just... Mm, I would love to keep that filter if possible. But anyways, that's a baby. Michaela, we go... We will have to sell some of the exhibit animals anyways. Um, and then we can sell you. You. All released to the wild. You are basically... That's infected. That's not gonna work though. Um... I did sell them. Why are they still in here? I don't know. But I did sell, sell them, right? Didn't I? Okay, release them to the wild. See you later. Good. So that has been done. And now let's keep an eye on what is happening next. I mean, we still have a lot of animals in here. We've got the giraffes, which unfortunately, I think these are siblings, right? Um, 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 um. So this is Taliba and this is Uba. They're both great, but I think they are... You yeah, know, I mean, ah, uh, okay, whatever. We have to look into that later. Good. I mean, this this has been done. Now let's have a look at our situation in general with the animals. I can't really still get rid of all of these. This is really annoying me a little bit. Um, we're gonna have to wait until they're. How long does it take again? I don't know. Okay, whatever. We are just going to try again. Uh, I think we should have a little bit of space now. Center Trade Center. Yeah, that works. So at least a little bit. That makes it a little, a little bit less crowded. That should be fine. So what's going on? Going on? Education speakers overlapping. Oh, you yes. see. Good. Okay. We are just going to... Really? Really, though? This is what you're moaning about? So basically, that's what you're saying, right? There's no actual issue anymore. There's no issue too. Okay, so is that still an issue here? I mean, I can make this a little bit smaller if needed, but there you go. Okay, fine. That's solved. Good. Good, 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 good. Um, I wonder though, I mean, we've, we basically we got used, uh, got rid of this problematic situation over here, but now it's actually still very cramped over here. Now it's raining. Cool. I hate building in the rain. Um, anyways, we can still do seven minutes in. That's fine. We can still do a little bit of... I mean, you can see how much money we lose at the moment, which is quite... Wait, are you... What is going on here? Oh, I guess I know what's going on, right? Yeah. No, I mean, let's select all and then just keep those two. And we're going to send them to the trade center. That's fine. Exhibit trading. We can now make the money we need. Select all. No, oh, oops, that was. Select all. Quick trade. Yes. Um, so yeah, we are basically losing money, which I know it uh, is the way it is, but um, I can't. Is this not just finances? Um, so at the moment, as you can see, we are making a little bit of. Um, yeah, we have actually a bit of problems. So now let's let's have a look. Purchase. Okay, is basically a problem. Uh, we have to look into. So we have the income of. 303 um, which is not good because our ongoing expenses are incredibly high now what is actually the problem stuff wages yeah they they got increasingly crazy food wait what why did animal food get like double the money okay whatever what we can do now we can actually increase the price for the zoo a little bit here you know, just to make sure that we change a tad bit of this. Um, I'm not sure if, if, if donation boxes do help whatsoever um, a little bit more because at the moment we don't have. By the way, you guys mentioned the fact that I need to change the education boards again, like I think 20 episodes ago and I'm stupid and I forgot about this. Um, but yeah, so can I also, like what we're talking about, can I also go in here and say prices and just adjust them across all the zoo that would be that would be great because people are like it's about to end no 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 you can like you you can like each other but don't do this okay just just don't cool thank you so much 
Okay, so we've we've changed this. Now, can we actually change all the prices? I want to do this like 250 to whatever and this and we are just going to make that like no 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 first of all we don't need more you know what else we you also we have too many warthogs as well so what we're gonna do you guys are oh, no no okay um is there like another male in here still i'm gonna keep this one male and you are going to be released to the wild i mean that it doesn't really bring me anything but uh oh, freaking hell look at that and um, we are also going to now nah, we, we keep one just release those this one still okay um what we want to do is we want to make sure that these so can i can i put them all on contraceptives easily one click thingy no i can't okay uh i gotta have to click them myself and then just do this <laughs> god we're gonna have more babies even I want to make like a broad pregnancy. Can we can we not do this, please? Oh god, this is this is not so. Educational speakers overlapping still. Okay, I'm gonna make you smaller, and that's not the problem anymore. And we're gonna make you one smaller too. Now this shouldn't be an issue anymore. Still, no, it's gone. Okay, so this this is gone as well. Cool. We have we've done this. Um, I mean, we are not losing like insane amounts of money though, but we are still losing decent amount of money okay so i think the only way of changing that is really making sure that we have a few more donation boxes here and there i'm not sure if this will make the money but in fact uh we need to improve also the guest happiness so that they are throwing more money at us and also make sure that the animals are doing better because then they you guessed it they throw more money at us which uh, in fact is, is the real deal you know that's how it should be um i mean we do have quite a few donation boxes so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Is there a donation box here? I don't see any, so... See, that's, that's one spot where I missed the money. Um, so we are just going to put these things down to make sure that we get the money. Even though <laughs> there were like so much to put down the money, but okay. Um, I like that Asia is getting a bit more uh, busy right now. I really hope now with moving the stuff up here, it's going to be more busy anyway. So we're just going to... I don't know if they stop by here, but I'm just going to... St oh, I saw I forgot the bins, okay? So this is definitely something I need to do quickly. Okay, let's pause the game. The weather is good. The lighting is good. Now this is the situation where we can do everything. And then next next episode, we really have to investigate making money again. Uh, because I fear we, we never have been like at a million or whatsoever. So it's not like we can, we can play completely... Uh, free now mind free and just go crazy that's not gonna work but um yeah we are also going to put another food cart down here i think this will make people buy a lot more stuff and i really do hope that this works um and then again i have to see let's have a look if we have because before we do this i want to see if i have like unemployed staff in here so there is quite a bunch of unassigned staff right so we do have one, two, three vendors, four vendors, five vendors, six, seven vendors, eight vendors. Okay, we have enough vendors for that. So if we put the shops down, the four people plus whatever is going to work. Now, are there still animals in this habitat or did I finally get rid of all of those? Because, uh, right, there's no one in here. Good. Okay, so what we can do already, uh, we can already go into this thing, edit the barrier. Select it all and then see you later. Good. This habitat is basically gone. Um, did I use this? Yeah, right. I should have not done this this way. <laughs> we do still need this bit of the habitat. Okay, now, well, let's do this and just kind of get rid of the stuff that is already in place. So we can get rid of basically everything until here, right? Yeah, now that's fine. Cool. And then we can do the same with this side. Just move it all. Wait, where is it? Is it is it only that bit? Yeah, cool. So we've done this. This is like freed everything. Um, we can then, oh, well, we, we keep this. Um, I'm not sure if we, I mean, no, we, we are going to change this tree. Um, we're going to get rid of this house here. That's good. And there's not that much stuff over here that is left, um, so we can actually basically get rid of all of that we don't need all the donation bins and stuff so we, we make like a little bit of money that's fine um nothing nothing too fancy nothing too great wait there's like one pillar 
Oh no, it's, it's just this bit. Okay, well that's that's easy to get rid of then. Let's do it this way and this way. Awesome. Okay, so we need to make sure that this is going to be like a huge plaza over here. The only thing I want to make sure is that this is all really nicely connected. And by nicely connected, I really mean that this is big enough. I can't really get rid of that for the moment, but as soon as we get rid of the water, water, uh, we shall be able to make sure that this works. Great stuff. Cool. Now let's make this like a really nice big old transition into this area. That works. Cool. And we have this bridge here. I think I'm going to keep this bridge um, because that's like just to traverse in here. And now we make this like a freaking huge plaza. Okay. So we need to make sure that this is going to be right here. And then I'm going to make sure that this is like a super... Wait, okay, no, that doesn't, I don't know why this doesn't work. Um, super large plaza, so that works, that works too. Can I, I can connect it this way, that's fine. I mean, I'm just going to try, yeah. So I wasn't, my, I wasn't sure if I can do this, but that way it should work. Cool, so this is all good, and now let's have a look if we can. Oh wow, that is pretty easy. Cool, no, that's good. I'm not sure where to put the shops though, to make sure that they're not like super, I mean, there is kind of a nice connection we could make as well. Uh, we knew, now have this little area, so why not use it, right? So just make sure that they can also traverse from over here. Can I also make this? Yeah, like a tad bit bigger. I would love to be able to. I think this is because of the water, right? So if we get rid of that, I should also be able to. Yes, indeed. I was, a, yeah, okay. Will, will we leave it that way? That's fine. Can I still put the water in? Yeah, no, that's great. I can now put the water back in. Cool. The only thing is, um, uh, not sure where to put the shops, right? Not sure where to put the shops. I could put them down here as well, like two ish here and one ish here. But I do also want. I mean, the problem is when they go here, they will potentially also stand here like crazy to watch the animals from this side. Uh, and then this is having like another little crowdiness issue. So I think what I want to do. I want to make sure that there is like a wall in front of that, you know, I don't, I think I don't want them to see through, but on the other hand side, maybe this gives them a better, yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I try it and we can always get rid of it. Um, so what I will do now is I will try to make like a dedicated viewing experience for them, which works fine. And hashtag not. Can I just, yeah, so that works, I guess. Right. Let's do it that way. And then it's like raised. And I mean, this is like super dedicated now. And I did not even meant to do this, but what's the, what's the deal? Oh, well, let's do it that way then. That's fine. So palm tree, you're gonna go. No, actually, you know what palm tree, you're gonna go completely because that's not an area for palm trees. Same, oh, well, that could be like a food court thingy here. That's fine. So we have this little raised area. You know what we do? We make this like a different path and we also do say railing on elevated and we make this like uh yeah let's make that look a little bit more special i guess so there you go it uh, it's not the special i want we, i need a different special okay yeah that's that's a better special that fits a bit more city zoo this is a bit of better city zoo in general i like to well that's because of the water you, you pff, the, uh, the pff, the, uh. Uh, well, let's get rid of the water then for the moment. I want to make this plaza work first before I before I do anything else. Can I just assign here like a... Wait, no. I want to... Why is this like not connecting over there? You got to tell me the reasons. Oh, I know why. It's because... Yeah, well, gotcha, 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 gotcha. It's basically because... I can do this like that now. But I, I won't be able to fill in any water. So I think I'm gonna leave it this way. And you know what I do? I, I, I basically will try now to somehow fill in the middle here. I mean, why isn't that even working? I mean, it's good because now this, this whole situation, yeah, let's definitely make this uh, gravel. This whole situation becomes a bit more nice now because they will need to choose different ways to go. Um, and since I want, yeah, we'll put the shops right here. So first of all, let's put the water in because that is definitely what we need. There you go. And there you go. 
And now we're gonna put the facilities down. First of all, uh, do we have a blueprint? You guys have so many blueprints. I think I didn't even use all of them. So what do we have? Oh, that's a classic stable. We don't need that. What is that though? I like this one. Maybe this is becoming like something for the lemur house. What is in there though? There is something in there, right? Oh, these are shops indeed. So, well. Nah, okay, that's that's quite a bit to do. Um, what, what, what is that though? I I quite like this. I quite like this. What, what, what is that? By, oh, that's from Andal. I love that. Let's put this back. This is going to be for the lemurs. Oh, we are already 20 minutes in. I'm not even sure if we do the lemurs or if we just do the rehaul. Like, I think it might even be better to focus on that one solely. Oh my boy, this is big. Uh, this is like Casa. <laughs> the Casa. I love this one. I love this one. It, it says tickets, but it's... I mean, potentially the better option would be... Can I also by placing down... I can't say there should be no shop in there, right? That's a pity. Shall we just do it ourselves quickly? I think it's easier to do it ourselves quickly because I don't want to... There's so much cool stuff in here. Like I love the I love this little bit of scenery. I want to I want to embed this here. I I just want to, okay? So this is going to be here. No matter if there's water or not. This is just going to be sitting right over here just because it's too good. There you go. This is little, yeah, yeah, that's definitely going to sit here. I love that. I just love that. Also, there's so much cool stuff like you guys, for example, you did this. I mean, it's way too big for here, but this is also for my main street in um, Summer Lake uh, kind of zoo. And it, oh, it just is so good. Um, but yeah, no, we will put the shops down just the way I want them. And then we'll have to see uh, how that works. So I, I'm not sure, like, how is this, like, hunger and thirst wise? It's actually everything is like, it's fine. It's everything is orange, but they're overall happy, which confuses me but I'm not gonna question it too much um, so let's go and say we are going to go for Monsieur Frita I just love I love fries too much so why is that not so right that works I'm glad this works too because now we need to have the drinks and we're going to go with pip shot water we just need the water here okay and now i'm not sure if i need to put like a new one down i think i want to go and give you some energy as well energy energy is nice however energy is not going to connect right yeah well that doesn't work well um there's also not really that much more space i'm gonna stay with those two as it is okay because I really think that's enough for the moment. And then we are going to make this like very simple brick style build. Um, let's do let's do like a little bit of a bit of a more stylish entrance to it. So basically this way. And then I'm going to use that one here. And you're just gonna fill this in like so. Half is here. Go a bit wider here. But like we actually would should have gone one wider there you go and now i can basically finish that off like this put the wall like there and then where's the window piece there you go window piece just give it a bit more dynamic for the building and then uh what we got to do uh, i think i'm gonna use the slate roof here just for just for the build and then what i'm going to do i really hope it works I really hope it does work. Let's just, uh, let's go to this and then it kind of works, but um, see, that's the issue here because of the one, about the, the different angles I took. I mean, it's fine if it's hanging a bit over to the front and to the back. <laughs> no, I, I wanna, yeah, I wanna keep it a bit closer to the back, that's fine. Uh, because I need to kind of have a little trick going on here anyhow. So let's do it that way. That's the wrong piece. Wait, I need the, yeah, definitely the steeper one. Also, we have the slate roof on this little well over there. So that fits together pretty good. Um, I'm still not sure if I, oh, it doesn't even fit. If I do it, the, uh, it doesn't even fit. So I can't even do the roof like that. So what I do is I just give this like a normal, wait, even that doesn't, doesn't fit. Okay, uh, well, 
you know that that's in you know having this in the middle is kind of fine um but oh well it doesn't even work like this so i'm gonna i'm gonna still do it that way and then we have the flat slate roof which is simply going in the middle here just as an excuse for my laziness to not make this look any better uh <laughs> and then we're also going to can i just have like a little border going on here because that kind of looks weird i mean I think it would work just you know having another little barrier here wait no that's still it still doesn't align properly there ah uh, never mind that was just a false perspective good well not good but good um let's type in brick again because i need to i need to use some of these uh longer brick pieces here there you go i'm just going to cover this up a little bit here because i just don't like this ugly corner and we, yeah, we go there. Yeah, by the way, we also have some new music um, in here because I kind of, yeah, I, I got a little bit tired of the music we used so far uh, in this project. I mean, I searched for it um, myself beforehand and it kind of was good for a long, long time. But now I really got a little bit tired of it. And so I use now the music from um, Harris Haller, who's Alpha Gaming on YouTube. I don't know if you guys have, have ever heard of it, but he provides a copyright for you, free, free, uh, free music uh, library, which is pretty damn good for YouTubers uh, such as me, um, because then you can use it also in stream. And this this playlist proved to be kind of cool also on stream. So yeah, I just decided to um, use it also in here, and I really hope you guys enjoy. I'm just hoping that uh, he will never decide to change this and just will always leave it copyright free because as soon as he decides to do something else with it, these uh, videos might be uh, copyright claimed. But I think he's not doing that because that would be that would be pretty stupid in terms of his idea about the, uh, the whole service. So, you know, it's pretty clever how he's doing that because obviously that'll drag people to him and make talk about like I do. And I think that's the that's the best thing you can do because that's a really cool thing he's doing there. So yeah, no, all in all, it's a very cool thing. You know, it's worth talking about. And uh, I guess for his reputation, he's not going to, you know, change that in the future because obviously people who use the music, if they all of a sudden have copyright claims and stuff, that would actually all fall back to him. So yeah, no, I'm quite sure that we won't get too many issues with that. Okay, let's say if we find anything by typing down classic, there you go. Um, I was about to think, that, yeah, that we have this, but definitely tone down the green a lot. There you go. I love that. And then we are going to just, okay, let me just not press F. So here we go, have this one and we just have another stuff like this. Make this all like a little bit more classic Zwish, you know, just have a, a lantern here, a lantern there. Everyone gets a lantern, there you go. And then, yeah, well, why not have like a little sign on here as well, what that is, what we have as a menu. There you go, just like food and drink. There you go, food and drink, you know, easy for the people. Did I just put down both food? No, I think it's food and drink, right? Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely food and drink. Okay, we are 28 minutes in, so it's definitely gonna be only this and lemur. Lemur will be for the next episode. I mean, it's fine, you know, the lemurs deserve the attention. Um, they just deserve so uh, <laughs> all in all uh, that's the best idea I guess you yeah, know I mean then we can actually actually make this all look a bit better and already test it uh, because like 10 minutes I in I want definitely to end this here so yeah just give this a bit of an education thingy here and then let's have a look if we can already put down something I love that one being a little bit more in the corner here and then just put these ones Ah, uneven placement, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, let's put them down here. Yep, that's nice. And then also have these two down here. Uh, by the way, we definitely need donation boxes if we will make them go up here. So there you go. And is there also like a shut up sign somewhere? Like a please keep your mouth shut people sign. I mean, we used them all over the place here, didn't we? This is like, please do not feed them, which also makes sense. It makes a whole lot of sense, but ah, there is one of these signs. Good. Security, do not disturb. Um, so we're just going to put this right over here because before they go up, they should definitely see that. Like, shut the <clears throat> up. <laughs> I want to make this like, uh, can we just have like a little? Yeah, we can. Um, what I'm even asking. I'm, 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 I'm a power here, okay? I can do this. I can do this. Um, I want to make sure that we have a little... 
like a wall of concrete, uh, no, brick here. There you go. Let's make that a building to make ourselves life easier a bit better. What was I even doing? Do, 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 like this. And then let me see if I can put a smaller one in, in the middle on top just to smooth this out a little. There you go. Yep, put that here and we have that one put here. No texture fighting, please. Good stuff, good stuff. Looks good from both sides. Now let's move that to the back. And I wanna just make sure that this is like a little bit of a very, very subtle element, you know, just, just to make sure that it doesn't look so weird so that people actually go behind there and just can enjoy the view without being disturbed by the people down here. I mean, it's just like a little element. It's nothing, nothing fancy, nothing crazy, but I think it'll help to make this area look a bit nicer. I mean, we can also pull that a little bit more up if needed. Oh, that was a very optimistic rotation. Um, there you go. We are not that far in yet. Uh, Ali, uh, behave. If you're listening, please behave. It's very important to behave, you know? Good. Okay, I think I like this. I think I like this a lot. And then let's just use this little piece here. Uh, yeah, no. Why did I press F? One F in the chat for me, but no. Uh, this is just meant to be like a little corner piece here. I love that. It's very, very small, very subtle. It's like almost like this little, little curb. Oh God, guys, you cannot imagine how much I would love to have more variations of curbs and then, then I can just select them myself, you know, not being forced to use any of those uh, in-game ones and just select them myself. Also, I want to be able to select the side of the path. You know, I want to make sure that, I mean, this would be one of these very cool integrations for maybe a second installation of any planet game, whether planet coast or planet zoo, whatever. But you know, just like, I wanna be able to choose from the path. Like as I can flip this thing next to the path now, I really wanna be able to also make sure that I put, uh, you know, like the curb only on this side or whatever. I think that would be really cool and really helpful. Um, but yeah, so as of now it's not in, but yeah, well, we all know how it is. So there was this one cool oak tree I fanboyed about last episode. Which one? Is it that one? I'm not sure if it was this bigger one or big old one here. I think it was that one and I was just fanboying because I never put it up high. It just always was automatically like this and that's why I never saw the great roots of this thing, which um, I do want to see this time. And I want to put this right over here. It got a lot of water to play with, you know? And that is definitely a bit more city zoo what we need. I mean, it's gonna make like this area look a lot different now, but that's fine because, you know, that is city zoo and uh, that's how it should be. So I'm gonna also have like an oak, oak, oak tree sapling, what a word, in the back here and also one in the center to not make it too cramped. And then can we also type in bush? But we can, there's like a lot of bush for us. A lot of bush for us to play with. You can never have enough bushes, um, as a certain Corrales would say. Oh God, I always, when he's playing any kind of uh, building game and he's starting to find the bushes, uh, I'm always already giggling at my desk because that's always gonna, gonna end up in a madness of bushes, which I love because that's how you do this in this game. You always need the bushes, you know? Without bushes, that's not a good simulation uh, slash building game because bushes make everything look so much better. And that's that's true, that's definitely true. And also it kind of holds true in every game. It's so weird, you can do this in, in The Sims, you can do it here in Plan Zoo, you can plant coaster, a architect. It does not matter. It's like always put the bushes down and your build looks so, so much better. It's like an unwritten rule. Is it written somewhere? I, want, I, I, I don't wanna have it written somewhere because then it's not an unwritten rule anymore, but I think you know what I mean. Uh, I love the fact that we have all these like variations of bush here, so Yeah, it's actually coming together nicely. So let's have a little bit more bushy here Just some overgrown stuff in here 34 minutes of only putting down bushes and stuff just because we are Lazy I want to put this here and I want to put this rock like somewhere here. I'm still not sure what I do with this little bit in the middle. It looks still very crazy um, and also putting down a fence there would take away from the plaza feel of it. I have an idea what we do. I think that's the easiest way of doing it is uh, making making the ground have a few more textures by using our wonderful friends. Do we have actually... Oh, that's too dark. What about these? 
I think in this case, these, nah, nah. Yeah, I think these ones are better. <laughs> I think these ones are more fitting. Yep, definitely. Okay, so what we always can do, and this is, I like doing this, is like get a bit of texture and break the mood of the pathway by just having these things in, you know, and then just make sure. But the important bit is that you not only do this where the uh, little patch was done, like where the little problem was with the path, like make sure to use that ma mainly everywhere to make sure it almost looks like it, it was meant to be this way. So just put a lot of rocks and textures like that in if you can and it's gonna make your path or your plaza look a lot more natural by default um, it's a bit of a tedious work but it really is worth it when done well um, simply because it just kind of yeah as you can see it really already in, in a bit takes away from the problems you had with the path like put it put it everywhere where you think it would fit you know also have something in the middle going on here not just like in dedicated places. There you go. Yeah, that looks like a whole lot better now. Like like actually like a plaza, so that's fine. Um, and now let's see if we can find any kind of different trees we can have in here. Um, I want to quickly put in temperate grassland continent Europe, just to make sure that we have like the right foliage now. Um, in fact, that's a good idea though. We just have some ivy spread over the build here why not that's nice so it's growing from down here and yeah definitely gonna have a lot of lady fern and stuff like that is very important um we did have the oak tree sapling in here as well uh so like put the fern everywhere we can so you would have the fern in here as well so if i do put a lot of fern down in a living room would that be furniture I was just asking myself right now. Is that a stupid pun? I think that was one of my most stupid puns. And I'm kind of proud of it. Even though I, I, I'm pretty much sure it won't work though. But whatever. Uh, can we have a kind of bit more bushy tree? What is going on? 30? Oh god. Like we're building for so long. Only on this little area here. I'm kind of shook. I'm kind of shocked. Uh, no, that doesn't work. Uh, let's put this bigger bushy tree in here. That's gonna look a lot better. Cool! I mean, really cool. And what we gotta do now is we're going to put down a few more needed facilities, such as bins, for example, which I do wanna have all over the place here, of course, in there, because we're gonna put a tree there. We're gonna have like another one here. Um, I want to also put another tree down, and this is why I'm using the Arctic bin, and I want to use it here. And there is going to be like a tree in there. We can also have some picnic tables, um, even though they would actually destroy this area. So I'm going to put these there. That's nice. And now let's go to construction and use some lanterns. There you go. I, I think I'm going to use with the classic lamppost and just a single version. So I'm a bit more free in placing them because I think we need to be a bit more free. Uh, yeah, put this one here. The other one goes there. So it's all lit. It's all lit there. There you go. And well, let's put that one here. Cool. Now let's go back to nature. We are nearly done. 38 minutes. That's fine. Uh, uh, bleh, bleh. Does this work somehow? I mean, it kind of works because it still doesn't look. It, it doesn't look super bad. It looks kind of cool. Even though I want, if if possible, you know, and I mean, I like that one. This could go here, to be honest. And then we just delete the bin. They can just go through, but I want to have it look a bit better like this. Um, I'm looking for a tree that is rather high. I mean, I like that these trees are uh, a bit more tall, but I think they would maybe... Uh, Yeah, that's the one. Okay, I decided. That is the one. This is definitely the one. It almost looks like as if this is a bit more of a newer plaza and now it has to work. Cool. I mean, yes, this is really what I wanted. And uh, yeah, let's unpause the game. Multiple animals have low welfare issues. That's in here. Why though? It's like, what, what, what's, your, what's your problem? Let's have a look. What is your problem? Is it overcrowded or what is going on? You, you don't have food? 
Enrichment. Species toy enrichment. Now that's gonna work. I'm gonna put you down some, some toys. I, I am more than happy. So, cappuccino. A cappuccino. Let's go to toys. And then we're going to put you a small ball down. Oh, well, whatever. Just gonna have one ball. Two ball. Um, you can also have, like, a piano if you want. Uh, you know, you could just get a second piano here. How about now? Are you more happy, guys? I guess you are right now all a bit more happy, aren't you? Let's have a look. Yeah, boy, that's a lot better. Facility broke down. No, that's fine. Okay, what we are doing now, we are just going to quickly create this new uh, work zone. So that is going to be that one. And I think, where do we have some staff rooms? We do have some stuff here and here. Yes. I mean, there are so many shops in here. Let's say Central Plaza. That's fine. And then what we are going to do, we have a lot of unassigned people. And this is going to happen now. At least those five are going to go into Central Plaza. Awesome. So that's done. And I mean, this is very helpful now. This is just a facility is broken down. Oh, it's actually one broken down only. That's good. So we have this research, which is uh, good, which is really good. So, I mean, I could, you know, since we, since we have so many people still in here, we can actually research all of that. I mean, you're not busy, so please do do the research. Facility broken down, that's fine. Warthog is about to have offspring. You are hungry. Is there no one assigned to you? Because I would love to see. I think there is no one assigned to you. Oog. Um, this is the. Yeah, well, it's not even. No. Uh, Formosan Black Bear. I'm quite sure that there is no one assigned. And I gotta have to check this quickly. Is there any staff member left, like a keeper? Is there a keeper left? Uh, you are a vet, right? Yeah, no, there, there are two keepers. Actually, look at this. Okay, well, you two. You guys have a new work zone now and this is going to be these two and obviously that whole region over here and this is elephant let's say what black bear elephant i mean we have the elephant already but i want to make sure that we have both covered because you know there are so many people that can do it that's fine all right so also done this now the problem will be now making money next i think we will be good making money uh, they are hungry they will get their food facilities broken down we're gonna call the mechanic that's also fine 42 minutes in for a i fix only things episode holy crap this is insane i really want to see how people uh, do realize this new area. I mean, I love that area. It's so cozy. It just gives the whole zoo a lot more character now. And, you know, just have, like... Yeah, I mean, this is just really, really good looking. I mean, I really do hope it kind of helps getting the traffic managed a bit better. Uh, it should, definitely, because now it's really... I think this gives the city vibe a lot more reason here. I mean, I love it. I really do love it. So, Black Bear is about to have offspring. On the tree, though? I, I do want to see that. Um, eight people in here. Pixel West, yes, say hello. Nick T, hello. Um, keyboard Keeper, yes, sure, that's that's good. The Juvie, the Juvie as well. Very Dunce is here as well. Uh, XNRH, I have no idea. Enigmandra, hello. She's always catching up with the episodes. So I guess she's catch, catching up with the zoo right now. Good. Cool, we've done this too. Um, very successful happy t uh, episode in terms of changing the area. I really hope it works um, and I will monitor if I make money or not. Uh, but if not, we have to fix this somehow. I don't know how, but guys, this is the end of the episode. My voice is also going to break away. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a good time. And make sure to check out my Twitch, by the way, um, because I will be streaming two or even three times this week. So in case you guys are not yet following my Twitch channel, what are you doing? Head over there via the link in my description. It's super cool. I, I, I guarantee you it's always a lot of fun uh, in the streams. And I can't wait to see you there. I'm also going for partner hopefully soon. Uh, and I will need your help uh, doing this. So please make sure to jump over and uh, give me a follow there so you'll always be notified whenever I go live. Until then, have a good time, stay safe everyone and I see you in the next one.